so our today's topic is population ecology first of all what is population population may be defined as an interbreeding group of individuals of a single species that occupy the same general area at the same time they are called as a population so in nature these individuals belonging to a single species they will be able to interbreed so that the number of individuals of the species they will keep on increasing and the important thing is that they should be present in the same area at the same time this is uh, these are the important things which we include in the uh, definition of a population right now what is population ecology when we study the processes that affect the distribution and abundance of animals and plant in the populations it is called as population ecology so all the studies related with the different aspects of population they will be included in um, population ecology now there are different terms which are included in this particular uh, subject the organism and its environment when we are talking about the population this population is obviously living in a set of uh, environment which is surrounding Uh, the organisms uh, but is environment environment uh, is the surroundings of the organism in the surrounding of the organism there will be uh, certain physical factors there will be other organisms which are living in the surrounding of a particular organism about which we are talking so the environment is concerned with the surrounding of the organism so physical environment organism live in a physical environment and these include the temperature moisture light nutrients etc all these are the physical factors which constitute physical environment uh, uh, this physical environment it differ from place to place on the surface of the earth this these differences they come with uh, respect to latitude when the latitude from different latitudes these uh, factors they will keep on uh, uh, differing then region from one region to another there will be a uh, difference in the physical factors with respect to locality the physical factors they will keep on different uh, shaping theek okay? hai physical environment varies from time to time so isme time ke lihaz se bhi differences aate hain jaise humne baat ki thi temperature jo hai wo uh, sunrise ke waqt aur sunset ke waqt comparatively low hoga but right in the uh, mid day at the 12 o'clock it will be highest aur isi tarah se sun rays ki intensity jo hai wo bhi uh, increase aur decrease kar, karti hai with respect to time daily and yearly daily changes aati hain in the physical factors yearly changes aati hain physical factors ke andar and seasonally summer mein winter mein the physical factors they have different intensities so all these are the differences which come in the physical factor with respect to Uh, time and with respect to uh, the places solar radiation flux that is the flow of the solar radiation towards the earth is responsible for variation of environmental factors so your solar radiation is one of the biggest factor which is responsible for the changes in the physical factors now interaction with the environment how the organisms they obviously if they are living in the environment they will interact with the environment and the environment will interact with the organism so this is a two way traffic the uh, organism they do impact the environment and in return the environment will have certain impact on the organisms so living organisms they interact with the environment how the plants interact with the environment plant take carbon dioxide from the air and water through their roots and nutrients dissolve in the water they enter into the plant then the plants they uh, return oxygen and the water vapors theek okay? hai water in the form of vapor transpiration jab ho rahi hoti hai ya photosynthesis ke process mein bhi uh, uh, respiration ke process mein bhi ek by product ke taur pe water banta hai ye bhi environment mein jata hai
then we when we talk about the animals the animals they consume the plants and other animals and uh, then they uh, whatever the material they go inside the animals it comes out in the form of waste products and it is discharged into the environment uh, now the adaptation to the environment uh, as the organisms they need resources from the environment and if they are existing in a particular uh, area surrounded by a particular set of physical conditions or physical factors these physical factors and the conditions they will be supporting for the survival of the organisms okay organism jo hai jagah pe exist kar raha hai wo us jagah pe kyun exist karega kyunki wahan ki environmental conditions aisi hai jo ki uske survival ko possible banati hai uski survival ko support karti hai if the organism is able to live grow reproduce in certain environmental conditions so it is said to be adapted to that environment theek hai wo wahan se accustomed to hai adapted hai wahan pe wo grow kar sakta hai kyunki environment uski tamam requirements ko pura kar rahi hai usko shelter chahiye shelter provide kar rahi hai usko food and nutrients chahiye to food and nutrients provide kar rahi hai usko particular moisture chahiye particular temperature chahiye तो ये सारी जो चीजें हैं जो उसकी रिक्वायरमेंट्स हैं अगर इन्वायरमेंट पूरी करेगी तो वो ऑर्गेनिज्म वहां पे ग्रो करेगा अगर वो वहां पे ग्रो करता है तो हम कहते हैं इट इज अडेप्टेड टू दैट इन्वायरमेंट एंड इफ द कंडीशंस आर ऑपोजिट द एनवायरमेंट इज नॉट सुटेबल एनवायरमेंट इज नॉट प्रोवाइडिंग द रिक्वायर्ड रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिज्म देन दैट एनवायरमेंट विल नॉट बी सुटेबल फॉर द ऑर्गेनिज्म and as a result the organism will not be able to survive it will die uh, another term is homeostasis it is homeostasis to keep the internal conditions of the organism in a balanced condition in a stable condition in the changing environment humne dekha environment change hoti hai day to day change hoti hai day ke different आर्स में चेंज होती है ईयरली चेंज होती है देन विद द सीजन एनवायरनमेंट चेंज होती है सो इन द चेंजिंग एनवायरनमेंट ऑर्गेनिज्म मस्ट मेंटेन कांस्टेंट इंटरनल एनवायरनमेंट उसके इंटरनल एनवायरनमेंट जो है बाहर की सराउंडिंग को देखते हुए इंटरनल एनवायरनमेंट जो है उसको कांस्टेंट रहना चाहिए उसमें वेरिएशन जो है वो नहीं आनी चाहिए द मेंटेनेंस ऑफ कंडीशन विद इन द रेंज that the organism can tolerate is called as homeostasis feedback mechanism internal environment can be kept constant by feedback mechanism it provides environmental information to which a system responds so aapka jo system hai usko the feedback milti hai to uske mutabik aap apne internal system ko और इंसान भी एनिमल्स भी और प्लांट्स भी उसको मॉडिफाई कर लेते हैं और जो वेरिएशन आती है उसको दोबारा से वो होम्योस्टेसिस में ले आते हैं विद सर्टन फिजियोलॉजिकल चेंजेस इनसाइड द बॉडी ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिज्म दिस इज कॉल्ड एज द फीडबैक मैकेनिज्म एनवायरमेंटल टॉलरेंस ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिज्म नेक्स्ट हेडिंग इज there are minimum and maximum values of the environment beyond which the organism cannot survive this is referred to as environmental tolerance of the organism you see if the temperature is very much lower uh, for example in case of plants if the envi environment goes very low it, uh, it, uh, it uh, for example temperature becomes um 4 degree c Okay, at one extreme, and at the other extreme, if the temperature becomes very much high, for example, it reaches to forty, fifty degrees C. In both these extremes, the physiological processes of the organisms they will be affected. They will be, uh, in a way, they will be slowed down, right? But the organism it will keep on surviving even then the physiological processes they will be slowed down or maybe they they are uh, stopped for a small period of time 
but even then the organism will keep on surviving but the best performance an organism will be able to show at certain uh, uh, particular value that value is called as the optimum value for a particular factor jaise ek temperature hai plant jo hai wo 25 degree c pe apni best performance deta hai yani uske physiological processes jo hain they um, they are uh, taking place at their uh, maximum rate right but if the temperature goes below this 25 degree c even then the uh, plant it will keep on performing physiological processes but at a lower rate uh, until it is very much lower that freezing uh, temperature is reached and the tissues the, the water inside the tissues it takes the uh, form of uh, ice crystals then the uh, maybe it become detrimental for the plant and it will die but to a certain limit it will able to tolerate this lowering in the temperature on the other hand if the temperature goes up from 25 degree c maybe till 30 35 degree c the uh, plant will be able to carry out the physical uh, processes uh, but um, physiological processes but at a slow, slower rate uh, in this case as well but if the temperature goes very much high 60 degree c or 50 degree c perhaps at that temperature it won't be able to tolerate and it will just die so the there is a limit to which the the organism it will keep on surviving it will try to keep on surviving but by uh, operating its different physiological process at a slower rate so wo to uski tolerance hai ki wo tolerate kar leta hai variations ko but within a certain limit but if uh, he is get uh, the uh, organism which is getting the optimum temperature which is best for its growth for the uh, full capacity of these physiological processes to take place then that is the optimum condition which the organism is receiving on which it is showing its maximum output and best uh, rate of certain physiological process will be at which they are operating theek hai meri baat samajh gaye na aap log theek hai ki tolerance uski may be hogi variations ke sath bhi lekin uske processes utne achhi tarah wo perform nahi kar sakega uska rate may be slow ho jayega aur ye uske liye bhi limit hai ye nahi ki bilkul hi freezing pe chala jaye ya bilkul hi itna high burning temperature ho jaye us pe fir wo survive nahi karega lekin kuch had tak wo is variation ko tolerate karega उसमें भी जो उसके लिए जो बेस्ट ग्रोथ के लिए सर्टन जो टेम्परेचर है उस पर ही होगी लेकिन अगर इस जो उसके लिए खास रेंज है जिस पर वो बेस्ट परफॉर्मेंस देता है उससे कम या ज्यादा वैल्यूज हो जाती हैं उस फिजिकल फैक्टर किसी भी फिजिकल फैक्टर की लाइट इंटेंसिटी की कह लें टेम्परेचर की कह लें वाटर की कह लें मॉइस्चर लेवल की कह लें तो हर एक के लिए उसके लिए कुछ ऑप्टिम वैल्यूज होंगी और कुछ उसकी टॉलरेंस रेट रेंज होगी बियॉन्ड विच द organism will not be able to survive ye concept aa gaya samajh aapko